Hi everyone, this is Terry. I hope everything's going well for you today. Today we're going to talk about several things and we're going to take advantage of some shapes that we can find from a project on Brother Canvas Workspace. And that's one of the things I want to mention to you. I always go out on the internet and look at things that I can use for inspiration for projects in my own embroidery designs. I also purchase a lot of designs as well. And I shop predominantly at my dealer who's 90 miles away in Tupelo, Mississippi. And just so you know a little bit about me, I'm retired. I do these videos for free. Today I'm recording from my kitchen table and I'm looking at several cardinals out in my yard. It's a little cool in Mississippi, so I hope it's comfortable where you are. Now let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is going to Brother Canvas Workspace. If you've never been there, you can go in and create your logon ID. If you have a scan and cut machine, you can register and download your software from this page. When you go into Brother Canvas Workspace, one of the things that you can do is you can use their basic shapes if you want to. And one of the things you can do is you can just drag a shape out onto the screen. And if you want, you can take that shape and you can duplicate it. And to do that, you can go to edit and you can copy and paste. So let's do that. Let's choose copy. And now we'll go back and we'll choose edit and we'll choose paste. So now I have another shape and I can drag that corner and take that shape and put it inside this one so that I can create a flower. You can see I've done something like that up here. One of the things that I want to mention though, and this is true both in, on Brother Canvas Workspace and it's also true whenever you go in uh, into your PE design software if we go to edit and we look at offset lines and let's say that we want to have some inward lines we'll make the spacing a, a little bit larger and I'll leave it as round and I'll say OK you're going to lose the shape the, the flower like the curve and for that reason I like to duplicate but keep in mind you can always go in and create a shape here you can save it and then if you want, you can download that file so that you can read it in your PE design software. The other option that you have is you can look at the projects that they have on, on their site. And here's a cute little brooch pattern that became the inspiration for something that I'm doing today. And it's also to show you a little bit about when you download these shapes, some of the things to expect. And one of the things you'll see is that there's a video, there's a PDF file that's really good. It gives you all of the information, and best of all, this is all free. You can choose to download all the parts in the zip file, or you can download them individually. And to do that, you just select the arrow key here to download, and then you can choose to save it and tell it where you want to save it on your computer. I've already done that, so we'll just close this, and let's look at my design page. So one of the things that I want to show you is if I go to the Scan and Cut tab, tab, tab excuse me, and I choose Import, I can select that and choose Import. Whenever you import it in, you'll notice that it is applique material, and if you go to sewing attributes, it becomes a stitch line instead of a cut line. That's because this is a vector file. You'll see the same thing if you import SVG files and use SVG files, for instance, it will create stitch lines for you. So You'll see that there is this blue box around this shape, and that means it's grouped. So you would go to Home, you would choose a Group tab, and choose Ungroup. I don't want to do that because I already have the shape on my, my um, 
design page, so I'll choose delete. So now what I did is I did exactly what I showed you in Brother Canvas Workspace. I took one of the, of the shapes and then I duplicated that shape. And once I duplicated that shape, I resized it. So I made it smaller. And then I selected both of those shapes by using the selection box. And once they were both selected, I went to Arrange Center and then also Arrange Middle. So that way you can get the, the shape that you want. If you, you go to the Shape tool and you use Shape Create Offset Lines, you're not going to have as nice a looking shape as you would if you duplicate it like we just did. One of the things you could do if you wanted to create a dimensional design and you had a digital cutter is to cut out two copies of each shape, a front and a back. Then what you would do is hoop up a wash away stabilizer and you would cut each layer. That way what you can do is take a glue stick to, to glue the shape on the, the back of the hoop using the placement line. And then what you will do is you'll finish up with your final tack down and your embroidery. Then you, you take everything to the sink, you wash away the stabilizer, and now you have three different layers in this example right here where you can take them and you can sew them together to create a little dimensional flower. I hope that this information has given you some inspiration to go out and find some things and create your own unique projects. I love the internet and I love to learn and I hope you do too. Thank you so much for your time today. As always, it's my pleasure to help you. Thanks and have a great day.